Greetings, beautiful people. Today we are frying whole tilapia. And you and I both know tilapia doesn't have a very interesting flavor on its own, so it is important to choose the correct ingredients to make it more interesting. We have done exactly that, and that's what I cannot wait to show you. Let's make it happen. If you are a tilapia lover like me, then next time you go see your fishmonger, ask for the aqua cultured one. To me, that tastes way better than the freshwater or wild caught, okay? Tilapia can tend to taste like its environment. A lot of the wild ones feed on algae, and so they end up tasting like that. So because of that, you're always going to need some fresh aromatics to tame those flavors. And that is why we have chosen to use fresh fragrance aromatics, rosemary, garlic, some shallots also went in just now. Shallots are mild and sweet. They are just the best tasting onions there is out there in my opinion. We also add one scotch bonnet chili or habanero chili, which will provide us with a healthy dose of heat as well as the beautiful chili taste and flavor. I've also added one tablespoon of ginger paste, whose earthy attributes ultimately clean up the taste of the tilapia. So it's an important aromatic to have in this marinade. Everything is ground into a paste and that's exactly what our goal is. So Sister Madame is happy right now. Now you want to bring it away from the sides into the middle so you have a uniformly combined aromatic kind of combo in here. Now we are also going to introduce the zest of one lime or you can also use lemon if that's what you have on hand. Now when you are removing the zest, try not to include the white part because that gets bitter and bitter is not a taste we're going for today. Now you want to include that in there as well and those citrusy oils make this whole ensemble very zesty and that is just brilliant. So friends, you would love this marinade. Now transfer everything into a bowl because we have a couple more things to add and our tilapia will be ready to receive this gorgeous marinade. Yes, I'm going to include the juice of this one lime or lemon if that's what you have. Make sure you add that in there because that acid, oh, it is a wonderful unifier. All right, don't forget your salts to season according to your taste tolerance. Now also I'm adding some crushed black pepper because you got it. You are in a novice kitchen. <laughs> I've also added some of my all-purpose seasoning, which should be substituted with a chicken or vegetable bouillon. I drizzled in also just a very small amount of olive oil, just so that this marinade becomes a truly spreadable kind. All right, so we can apply it to the fish easily. Now I am scoring my fish and I'm making these diagonal incisions straight into the bone, all right? So I stop cutting into the fish when I feel the bone because I want the, the fish to be seasoned that far, all right, to the bone. And I make another long one across all of the parallel ones I initially made. And when you make your scoring marks this way, it makes it easier to eat your fish. And you'll see what I mean once we fry it. You want to make sure that your spices and seasonings really enter those scoring marks you made. Otherwise, why waste your time, right? Also make sure it gets into the head and the belly. And we're going to repeat that for all the fish pieces. And I have three large jumbo tilapia pieces here today and they're whole, they're gutted, the gills have been removed, they have been scaled, and also the fins have been cut off. I apply my cling film and set this aside um, in the fridge for 30 minutes. Then I remove it out of the fridge for another 30 minutes to bring it to room temperature before we fry it. Now I, I have my homemade banku mix or banku flour because we will be enjoying this, some of this fish today with banku. I love my banku. Banku is one of my favorite dishes, which I enjoy pairing with fried fish. 
Now I add a little bit of water to this mix and stir it in until my desired consistency is met. And then I proceed to the stove and cook it until I get a dumpling, a soft dumpling. It's time to fry the fish, y'all. It's been an hour, so I add some fresh rosemary to the hot oil just to test and make sure the oil is at temperature. And it is. The rosemary also perfumes the oil and we always want everything to smell good. Now, if you fry a whole jumbo tilapia, then I encourage you to fry one at a time in order to keep the temperature of the oil at where it's supposed to be in order to also get the outer layer nice and crispy, leaving the inside meat to be moist and perfectly juicy. And friends, let us not forget the fresh, the crunch, the color factor, which also becomes the garnish and the balance we need in this dish. All right, so I added some freshly sliced red and green tomatoes and some onions. And this salsa was made with tomatoes, onions, chilies, some basil, fresh basil, and seasoned well with some salt. And here is that brilliant addition. This is my homemade smoky barbecue hot sauce it has a tang that makes this entire plate so much more enjoyable and you must try it because i left a bonus recipe and ingredients for my smoky barbecue hot sauce in the description box also for the fresh hot pepper salsa i left those ingredients in there in the description box as well my husband had this with some rice pilaf and it was brilliant he loved it some of the children also chose to have it with rice but i needed to have this with my banku and let me tell you it went down very well we had a great time I hope you learned a thing or two and are inspired to try this recipe. And if you're subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for doing so. I appreciate that. And if you're not subscribed, I hope you are inspired now to do so. It is tough time, friends and family. Make it a great day. And as always, have fun, especially in that kitchen. Thank you, beautiful person, for watching the video all the way to the end. Kindly leave me a comment and subscribe down below and don't forget to share the video as well also watch more videos it is chop time and here in Anaba's kitchen chop time is always yes friends so pull up a chair we are all friends and family here <laughs>